Hello everybody, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and many of you know that I love music. I made this channel specifically to promote and talk about my music and, and other bands and stuff. But I want to kind of change gears and talk about something a little different. Talking about those times when I may have not getting bored. I never get bored of music. I love all kinds of music. But I would be thinking that music was getting stale. That I wasn't really seeing something new or innovative or, or anything that really was inspiring to me. Like for example, about 13 years ago... The last year I, I was living up in Montreal, we, there was, we didn't have much music, but we had channels like Music Plus and much more music. And I found that I would, try, I would watch those channels and I, I thought this, the music was starting to get stale. It wasn't really getting, it wasn't really moving me or, or inspiring me and and I was just just starting to think that music was just getting a little tiny bit stale. And then, so, but there was this channel, on uh, a French channel, that in the mornings, maybe about 5 o'clock in the morning, they would play one hour of music videos. And then, and then repeat those same videos again at 4, uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. The same, the same set list, for, but for an hour each day. And they were playing these songs that were just be way better than what I was seeing on, on much mu uh, Music Plus. Not much Music, the French channel Music Plus. And, or Music Plus, if you, want, if you want to say it in English. And, and much more music. They were, it was playing better stuff than that. And a, a few songs that they were playing that just really like perked me up was, was like Matt Mays' Tall Trees. They were playing, they were playing uh, the song Hell by uh, Sarah and Tegan. And one song in particular, and I have an interesting story about this song. I think it was just a rough night. I was barely getting any sleep and... And I think I, I I had slept for a little bit and and had a weird dream and stuff and and so I ended up getting up at five o'clock in the morning like which I I hardly ever did it was way earlier than usual and I just needed to I don't know to, re, to and I knew that they were playing music at that time at five a.m. Because I had pulled some all-nighters once and or twice there with with, a, with my roommate at the time, and and I knew that they played music in that time in the morning, so I was up by I got up by myself. I was all foggy in the head and stuff. So, but I go and I turn on the TV, and and as soon as I turned on the TV, didn't. Uh, like right at the as soon as I turned on the TV, the video started. Like per it was perfect timing, and wasn't it Kids Cuddies, the Pursuit of Happiness, the 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 one there with um, it's the video where where he's dreaming and you see him going like like the way he was landing in the bed, spilling milk, walking through windows and stuff like that. And he's at a party where there's this woman with uh, with a uh, with like a her her in her face there was like a galaxy in her face and that, and it just uh, it, I was getting chills watching that, and it seemed so appropriate and so perfect to come on at exactly when I turned the TV on, that that video is the one that started, and. It, the music, the way he was singing it, the whole, the the sound that it was that I had never heard any any song sound that way, and it so revitalized my love for music and made me feel feel hope and 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 it was just yeah it was just a big eye opener and I've always loved that Kid Cudi song and I need to get that album. 
I have the Sarah and Tegan album for that song Hell, and I and I and I need Terminal Romance by Matt May. Is that album album there so I can get Tall Trees? I watch the videos quite often. Still, I I still they're in they're still in my uh, my my uh, my video collection that I have on my. Well, you can probably find it through my channel. I I, I made a list of like two hundred and seventy something songs that I really like. And I need to listen to that list again. There's there's quite a bit of good music in there. But yeah, I wanted to talk about that song in particular. But recently, within the last five years also, there were these bands and albums that... And I'm coming to the main one in particular. There's one in particular I really want to talk about. But I think it was 2018 where me and my brother, we, it was for us, it was the year of Childish Gambino and, and the Antworth. We were really impressed by those. We were, I had, I had seen the video for, I think you're freaky. I, I think you freaky and I like you a lot by uh, the Antworth. So we ended up, uh, and we ended up, I'm just showing you quick, this is not a, a, a music review or anything like that. I'm not going to rate, rate or rank these. I just want to show you what I have in for the Antwerp. I have the 5, which is not open, because I don't need to open it. Uh, you know, there's SOS. There's Tension. There's Donker Mag. And, there, and, and there's... Uh, uh, Ninji and the nice and the nice time kid, which is which is which are all fantastic albums, but more of the point is that this this revitalized again my love for music. It was it was such interesting and cool music. Even if you think their images, your I'm not talking about the artists. I'm not talking about their history or personalities. I'm only specifically talking about the music and the, and what the music kind of made me feel and it revitalized me. And I was as I was saying with uh, with the Childish Gambino, the same thing. I it was uh, and I need that album. Uh, this is America, but I got I got this album. I got. I got uh, because the internet. I, I I yeah I have camp, which which they're all fantastic and I need to re-listen to them again. I haven't listened to that stuff in a little while, but I do need to put those on a list of. Uh, I have other stuff I need to listen to first, but in the next few months from now, I will be playing those again, or if I ever feel like playing them again, I will be playing them. But yeah, that revitalized my love for music again. But I want to talk about a band that in the last two, maybe, yeah, in the last two years has really recaptured my imagination and, and they're becoming in my, and they're well in my top five favorite bands of all time right now. As you know, there, I I really love bands like, uh, of course, my favorite band Tool, but I love bands like uh, like Rush and and Bell and Sebastian and and there's a few others, but this band has poof, quickly shot up to the uh, to the top of the list in some ways, and and the more I listen to it, the more I love it, and I just can't get enough of it. There's videos. I, I've been I've been watching the videos of this band here and there, and they was just they spark my 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 love for music. They re sparked my love for music, and that sparks. And just to show you quickly what I have, I only have seven albums. I desperately need more, but I got their debut album. I'm missing the one after that, but then I got Komodo My House. I got Propaganda. I got uh, Gratuitous Sax and Senseless Violins. I got Hippopotamus. I, I, I got a Steady Drip Drip Drip. And I got uh, The Girl Is Crying In Her Latte. And I tell you, 
I love these. I I I think they're I think they're a fantastic band. Now I know my brother my I tried to get my brother into them a little bit. I I, I showed him a couple of things here and there, and he just he's not into this band at all. And I I I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna put him down for that. He 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 listens to things that I'm I question. I was like, why do you like that? But it's okay. You can like what you like, and I don't I don't knock the things he likes. I mean, he's not even a Rush fan. I, as I there, Rush is my favorite favorite Canadian band of all time. I think they're fantastic, and and I I have everything of Rush. But again, I'm just talking about uh, the music, and and that and how it revitalized my love for music. And no band lately has done done so more than Sparks, because I I like weird and bizarre type of music, and I mean I love Devo. I love uh, like just a name, just name another band that's kind of weird and bizarre. But I love I love bands like that. I love bands that can go and not just be normal, like. I love variety, and I love how bands can just take you off to a different place, and and do their thing, and and yeah, that's and Sparks is one of them, especially especially uh, this album here, <laughs> Propaganda, because yeah, this the songs on this, the lyrics, the the whole musical. It, it, musically, it's just so, so rocking and so innovative for nineteen, for nineteen seventy four. Like it blows my mind that they were doing that they were doing music like this and and that it didn't really take off in the states that it should have. Uh, this band, this should have been on my radar as a as a youngster, as a three year old or more or even later on. I should have been aware. I was only became aware of this band when I saw, when I saw a preview at the movie theater for the uh, for their documentary, The Sparks Brothers by Edgar Wright, and and yeah, from that it just made me, it just perked me up and like, because when I saw the that trailer, I thought it was a joke movie like a Spinal Tap or or such. I didn't think it. I didn't look like a real band. I like, is that a real band? I had gotten home. I checked the internet, and sure enough, they had twenty-five, about twenty-five albums. And it's like, are you kidding me? And the more I delved into it, the more I listened to what they had out there. Yeah, the 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 better it got. Like one of my favorite. One of my favorite songs that I don't have from them that I really need to get that album to is a uh, it's a song Perfume. I love their arrangement. I love how it sounds. I love the whole. I like. Yeah, there was just something about that song. It's so catchy and so so fun to listen to. Uh, I need to listen to that again today before I leave for work. Cause it just it's just a cool song. And yeah, I've been watching. I've been watching the videos. I've been. I still listen to these albums quite a bit. The the two that I listen to the most for sure, is is these two, and and this is a perfect album. It like from front to end. It's just the more I listen to it, the better it gets. It keeps getting better and better and better every time I listen to it. And so does this, especially that first side. The first side. To me, it is perfection. As side ones go, it's probably one of my favorite side ones of anything I've heard in a long time. I mean, there are other bands, of course, and has great side ones, but this, this, especially the songs Reinforcement and BC, I find them so so interesting and so jaunty, and the lyrics are some of the greatest lyrics I've ever heard, and. And I'm so I'm so thankful to Sparks for another reason too. 
it it put it got me in touch with uh with Larry Graves channel the Canadian stud muffin if it wasn't for if it wasn't for discovering sparks the way that I did because I I, I ended up watching a uh, where he was reviewing and ranking the albums and stuff and just a couple of them that I had been watching and then it made me want to watch more and more and more of the Canadian stud muffin because I I really love learning about bands that I'm not in that I wasn't as interested in and really giving and opening my mind and giving them a a much more serious chance to 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 inspire me and stuff and yeah yeah thanks to Sparks I discovered the Canadian Stud Muffin and I and eventually I became a Patreon because I wanted to I want I want to try to uh because I love, love trying to find songs, not not necessarily songs that I love. Of course, I will love the songs that I give give him to review, but but I want to show give him songs that I know he will love and he would want to hear. So that's always been my mission with with the Canadian Stud Muffin with with Larry Graves on his Patreon channel. And if you're not if you love Larry Graves and you're not a Patreon. And if, but, but you have to be a music lover, a real music lover to appreciate the joy, the joy I get whenever I give him something and he gives me a good grade on it. It, it really makes me happy because I'm, I'm, I'm showing him stuff that I think is just beautiful, beautiful and awesome songs. And so yeah, it revitalizes my love for music not just hearing new stuff and 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 getting into bands like I'm going to be getting the first seven Moody Blues albums because of Larry Graves because he opened my eyes to how good they are and and I, I want to get more and he introduced me to like Glenn Calloway from the basement now Steve from all the worlds of stage there's Alex from Beer and Vinyl, and so much more that I'm 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 not mentioning, unfortunately. But yeah, yeah, it's opening my eyes to a wider world and just keeping me in keeping the genre of different genres of music in my mind and and yeah, music music is life, like life without music would be a mistake. That's Friedrich Nietzsche that said that. And I 100% agree. And you got to love music, which I do. Now, I'm before I start rambling on more, I'm just this is just the purpose of this video is just to show you how how if, if you keep an open mind and you in an, an open heart, music will revitalize your life and make and it's it's the main source, the main source of happiness in my life, that always will lift my spirits, will lift my mood, makes me a better person, makes me want to be uh, be good to everybody and myself, and and yeah. So before I go, I do want to restate that on on December. 23rd on 20 uh, yeah December the 23rd on a Saturday I am going to try live live broadcasting again and probably every Saturday after that even if it doesn't do well even if nobody watches my uh, my video I'm I'm going to make sure that it's structured and I'm going to continue on for at least a half an hour if nobody's watching if people are watching I will go for longer but I will post it and and every Saturday after that I'm going to do my best to go live at the same time every every week so people can join in and watch my video and watch me go live because I really want to start doing that I, I really want to start interacting more directly with my viewers and subscribers and open up my world to uh, even more and hopefully people will join me there and of course please consider subscribing to my channel I would greatly appreciate it leave a like and comment especially comments because I will 
always do my best to get back to your comments as much as I can. Just wish that YouTube would just send me more notifications of people giving me comments. That would be very helpful. But I'm going to let you go right now. And then, of course, as always, please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please, everyone, have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.